Hello viewers, I am Dr. Sudip Mandal, working as assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry, SK Purwal College, Kamthi, Nagpur, Maharashtra. This you can treat as an introductory lecture for thermodynamics and also it is a trial lecture of thermodynamics. In this video lecture, I am trying to cover some introductory areas of thermodynamics. So at the very first, we have to know what is thermodynamics and how the terms thermodynamics came from. Actually, thermodynamics is a Greek word, which means heat, flow of heat at different physical and chemical reactions. Thermodynamic can also be defined as the it, it deals with the energy changes in different chemical and physical processes. It is also a branch of science which deals with the study of different forms of energy and their interconversion. So whenever we are uh, dealing with thermodynamics, we have to at the very first, we have to know what are the basic terms that are associated with thermodynamics. So whenever uh, the thermodynamics or the parameters of thermodynamics or different, uh, we have to go ahead in thermodynamics, some basic terms at first we have to understand. And in thermodynamics, the first thing that we have to understand is what is system, what is surroundings and what is universe. So a system is something which is defined as the part of the universe which is under investigation or part of the universe which is under study is called as a system and the outside area outside the boundary of the system the area which is adjacent to the system is called as surroundings and system plus surroundings system plus surroundings as a whole it forms universe so uh, in the, the thermodynamics at first when we are uh, studying the system so we have to understand what are the different types of systems that are possible so in thermodynamics there are three different types of systems are possible open system closed system and isolated system a open system is something which is defined as in which the system in which both exchange of mass as well as energy both are possible is called as a open system whereas in closed system the exchange of mass is not possible but exchange of energy is allowed Whereas in case of isolated system, both the exchange of mass and energy, both are restricted. Such type of systems are called as isolated systems. So these are the three different types of systems that are possible in thermodynamics. In our next slide, we will see what are the different thermodynamical processes that are possible. In thermodynamics, there are so many different processes that are possible. They are isolated process, isothermal process, adiabatic process, isobaric process, isochoric process. And reversible process as well as irreversible process these are some thermodynamical processes that are possible so if we see the definition of isothermal process a isothermal process is defined as a thermodynamical process where the change of temperature is fixed throughout the thermodynamical course of reaction such kind of thermodynamical process is called as isothermal process whereas in adiabatic process the heat change is constant throughout the process in case of isobaric process, the pressure change will remain constant, whereas in isobaric process, the volume change will remain constant. So in next slide, we will see what are the uh, thermodynamical properties that can be divided into the, in these two different categories. Thermodynamical properties, one is intensive property, another one is extensive property. This, this is also very much important in the view of the in the view to understand the concept of thermodynamics intensive process is something which is independent of the mass independence of the mass that is it is mass independent properties those properties which are mass independent they are called as intensive property whereas those properties which are mass dependent they are called as extensive properties so the example of intensive property the color taste melting point boiling point and the examples of extensive properties are mass volume length space etc so if you understand this uh, fact that how color comes into intensive properties say say for example or taste how the taste comes into intensive property the uh, example that we can take the example of sodium chloride now that uh, we all know the taste of sodium chloride is salty in nature so that taste the salty taste of sodium chloride it will remain same if we taste one gram of sodium chloride or we if we taste one kg of sodium chloride the taste will remain same the color of the sodium chloride is quite crystal clear white in color so the color will remain same where if we take one gram of NaCl or if we take 
10 kg of NaCl. So the color, taste, such th such properties they do not depend on the amount of the system. So such type of properties are called as intensive property. Whereas mass, volume, length they are mass dependent because the volume that will be occupied by one liter of or one kg of nitrogen gas and the volume will be occupied by 10 kg of nitrogen gas will be different. So the volume of volume is uh, comes under extensive property as because it is a mass dependent property. So this this is only for now. So in my next video lecture, I will go in detail of thermodynamics and very soon I will come with a lecture on video lecture on thermodynamics. Thank you for now.